Hi there, and welcome back to my transition vlog. Well, as you can see, I'm out and about again. I'm in my car, um, and uh, I'm quite excited, actually. So um, let me just explain about what I'm going to be talking about. So I'm going to be talking about breasts. I did think about um, calling this video Katie Talks Boobs, but I thought it might just get a different sort of audience. <laughs> but anyway, what I'd like to talk about is breasts, but in regarding trans women. Now, I've been on hormone therapy, cross-sex hormone therapy, for about three and a half years now. And with that, I get um, you get a certain amount of, um, uh, of breast growth, um, and even you get fat transfer that that goes you know, the repositioning of fat from uh, for, you know, from from the tummy and stuff across, you know along to the waist and and, and you know sort of, you know around the around the bum and hips and bum area that sort of thing. So, but but you get it in the boobs. Um, now, for some trans women, they get. Um, they get quite a lot of um, growth and they're, they're lucky and they're fine. A lot of the younger trans women, they tend to get more and overweight uh, trans women, they tend to as well. Um, but anyway, I've been on for, for three and a half years um, and I, like about 60% of trans women, have been quite disappointed with the boob growth that I've had. So I'm uh, my, my own breasts now are up to about an AB cup. This is probably too much information, but what the hell? <laughs> Why break the habit of a lifetime? So I'm up to about an AB cup. And so for the last three and a half years, I've been wearing breast forms that go over the top of it. They've got a curved back, so they go over my own boobs, but they're just like oversized chicken fillets, basically, um, just to get up to a D cup, which I think is in proportion to the size of my torso. Um, but the thing is, they get, get me down a bit because every time I lean forward, I just feel that separation. Um, and I basically just want my own, you know, and, and I think after three and a half years, I've got about as much growth as I'm likely to get. I might get a little bit more growth, but it's fairly unlikely now. And so what I decided to do was to go for breast augmentation. And I say about 60% of trans women end up going for breast augmentation as well. So here I am. I've, I'm outside a private hospital now. I have to go private because it's not available on the NHS in England. It is in Scotland. So I feel a move to Scotland coming on. <laughs> but, it, but in England, it's not available on, on the NHS. Um, so I've gone to a private hospital. And I've just had a consultation with a surgeon. And so we've just been, we've just been talking boobs and we've been measuring up and, and, and talking about the sort of size I'm going to get and everything it's not going to be massive don't worry it's just going to be exactly what I've got now but just inside me instead of over the top um and yeah so it's, it's, it looks as if it's, it could be happening either towards the end of the year or uh, early next year so really really excited it's just something that I can really do for me um that's that's not going to be held back by the NHS at all I could have done it done had it done sooner but I decided to give my hormones as much of a chance to to, to work as possible um so yeah it, it it's um it's really exciting it feels it feels something really positive and really exciting um but anyway there you go that's that's the latest update probably too much information but what the hell <laughs> so um thanks very much and um hope to see you on the next vlog